What's up guys, welcome back to the next installment of the free horror environment tutorial series. Um, in the last video, I showed you guys how to add some much more realistic looking fog using the Unity Standard Assets Pack. And today what I want to show you guys how to do is add some uh, simple kind of horror sounds and ambient noise that will really add to the ambiance of your game and just make it all that more much more scary all right so how do we add sounds to a game um what i'm going to be using today is the free uh asset called horror elements you guys can get this on the asset store um i'll leave a link for it in the description but it's called uh horror elements by anthon here and you guys can check it out it's got you know length of the soundcloud and a bunch of different uh things here we've got hits um which I probably won't be using too much. I'm going to be more focusing on the ambient stuff. A um, bunch of miscellaneous like horror sounds, whisperings, go like whispers, ghosts, things like that. Um, I really like the deep uh, space sounds that it comes with. So I'm going to be using this one for the street. So when the player enters this street here, um, this is what they're going to hear. And I, I really like that one. So let's add this here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a game object, three object, and a cube. So let's add a cube here. Um, doesn't really matter where it's going to be. We can keep it here. Um, let's take off the box collider um, and the mesh renderer. And, uh, you know, we don't want the mesh renderer on because we don't want the player actually seeing this. You know, uh, you guys probably can't see it down there. But um, let's take that off. And then we're going to add a component and we're going to add... Uh, audio source. So this is going to add uh, a little audio icon here, which means that when the player walks into the vicinity of this sphere here, um, they're going to be able to hear our sound. So we need to actually add a sound to this. So let's take our, and for this video I'm using ambient deep space 3. So let's take our ambient deep space 3 sound here and drag it to the audio clip. Now we want the player to actually hear this, so let's make our cube a little bit bigger. Um, and we also want this to be a 3D sound, right? So uh, let's take our spatial blend and drag it all the way over to 3D. Now, as you can see, we have a logarithmic roll-off, and we can also use what's called a linear roll-off. Now, as you can see, a logarithmic roll-off, the sound will kind of stay the same, stay the same, and then grad like really quickly sort of fade off. Whereas a linear roll-off, it'll it'll kind of fade gradually. So you guys can play around with those. Um, I, I, I tend to prefer the logarithmic roll-offs, um, but like I said, you guys can totally play around with that. Now our max distance, uh, we don't want that to be 500. Um, let's see here. Yeah, as, as you guys can see, look how big the sphere is, right? Like that's, that's our maximum distance. Our minimum distance where the player can hear the sound is going to be 1. And our maximum, we don't want that to be 500. Um, let's make it like 15. Let's see, how, let's see what that does here. Uh, 15 yeah that's about good like so if our players in this vicinity here they'll they'll be able to hear our sound um, yeah I think 15 is good we can like I said we can always play around with this but uh, you know you guys can make it smaller you guys can make it bigger uh, for this video I'm just gonna keep it like right around 15 and uh, let's uh, oh also before I play this you guys can adjust the volume so if your sound ends up being like really loud just go ahead and drop this volume down um, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to drop it down to like 0.7. Um, but, you know, you guys can always change that. Just make sure your your uh, your spatial blend is all the way over to 3D. That way, no matter which way our player is facing, they're going to hear this sound. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. Um, let's see here. Um, quickly, <laughs> I know I'm like forgetting steps, but uh, we want this sound to loop, right? So we don't want it just to play once. So if we're standing in this, this circle here, this sphere... We don't want our sound to just play once and stop. We want it to keep looping. And we also want it to play on awake as well so that the sound will always be playing. We just won't be able to hear it until we actually step into this area here. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. So as you guys can see, or hear, I should say, we actually can't hear our sound yet. So let's walk over to the street where we put our sound and we should be able to pick up on it pretty soon. go now our sound is playing guys as you can see no matter which way 
I'm facing, I'm gonna be able to hear it. Now, our sound cube is right about center of the screen here. About, you know, I'd say five or six feet up in the air. Um, so, where we position ourselves, like imagine there's an imaginary speaker up here, right? That's where our cube was. That's where the sound's gonna be coming from. So we can play with that and we can move it around. If you want the sound to be like coming from this graveyard over here, we could place the cube in that graveyard. Um, but I kind of like where it's at. Now let's see what happens when we walk away from it. See how it like really fades off like right away. That's that's what I like. Now linear roll off, it would fade off really gradually, but with a logarithmic roll off, it's gonna like fade off pretty quickly, which is what I like for this style of game. Come back. And right where our cube is, is where the sound's gonna be loudest, you guys. So, as like I said, as we move away, it'll, it'll gradually get quieter. And as you guys can see, the fog from the last video is looking pretty great. Cool. All right, you guys. So that's just a really quick video on how you guys can add sounds to your game. Um, with horror games, you know, like I said, this, this sound I might actually just make a little bit louder. Um, you know, place them around the map. Don't, don't overdo it, though. You'd probably want, you know... I'd say like a sound where the most important parts of the game is happening is where you want them. So like right when the player enters the street, you know, if the player enters a building of importance, I'd put a sound in there. Um, you know, if, things like that. If a player is going to like go into a jump scare, maybe like put a sound before that or something. Um, and actually I might move this cube around. Like I, I think that maybe the sound coming closer from like the graveyard might be kind of cool. So I'm going to move this over here. Put it down a little bit and let's just make our sphere a little bit bigger here let's see here let's go down make this max distance let's do like 20. perfect so you guys probably already know what that'll sound like it'll just make it a little bit bigger and i don't want the sound to sound like it's coming from like up in the air just kind of keep it down here but awesome guys uh go ahead and give me a like subscribe if this helped you out um i've been getting a lot of requests to do horror fps tutorials so i might start doing those again um, it's been like a year since I've done any of that stuff, so let me get back into it. And if you guys have any requests for things I should do next, if you guys are following along with this, great. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.